So this begins a new section which is expectation, could have also been called expected values. And what's going to happen is the notion of an expected value of some function of x will be generalized from one single random variable to bivariate distributions. To review rather quickly in one dimension for a univariate random variable, we want the expected value of g of x and one rather popular expected value is when g of x is just x and the expected value of x gets a special symbol and that is mu. Another example of what can go in here for uh, g of x you could have the expected value of x minus mu squared and that is also a popular expected value which is known as the population variance. So we have the population mean the population variance. Uh, another one which is out there is if you let the function g of x be x minus mu over sigma, the standardized random variable cubed, that is known as the skewness. Sometimes that's given the symbol gamma 3. And on it goes. There's kurtosis. That's a um, famous expected value that shows up quite a bit. Another well-known one is the moment generating function, etc. But that's it for one dimension. This time we're moving up into two dimensions and here's the theorem. Let x and y be random variables with joint probability mass function f of x, y, if the random variables are discrete, or joint probability density function f of x, y, if the random variables are continuous. The expected value of g of x, y is, expected value of g of x, y, and it works in pretty much the same fashion. If x and y are discrete, then it is the double summation of g of x, y times the probability mass function f of x, y. If x and y are continuous, then the expected value of g of x, y will be g of x, y multiplied by the probability density function over the support. And generically, you can put that as both limits from minus infinity to infinity.